a girl had gone away from home to go to college and she wrote her mom and dad a letter and she said, since I left for college, I've been remiss in writing and I'm sorry for my thoughtlessness in not having written you before now. But I'll bring you up to date now. But before you read on, please sit down. Well, I'm sure that made a little heartbeat. Are you sitting down? Don't read unless you're sitting down. Well, I'm getting along pretty well now. The skull fracture and concussion that I got when I jumped out of my dormitory window when it caught on fire shortly after my arrival here was pre is pretty well healed. I only get those sick, sick headaches that I've been having now once in a while instead of every day. Fortunately, the fire in my dorm and the jump was witnessed by an attendant at the gas station. He ran over, took me to the hospital, and continued to visit me there. When I got out of the hospital, I had nowhere to live because of the burnt out conditions of my room. So he was kind enough to invite me to share his basement bedroom flat with him. It's sort of small, but cute. He's a very fine boy and we've fallen deeply in love and are planning to get married. We haven't set the exact date yet, but it will be before my pregnancy <laughs> begins to show. Yes, mom and dad, I'm pregnant. I know how much you're looking forward to being grandparents and I know you will welcome the baby and give it the same tender care and devotion that you gave me when I was a child. The reason for the delay in our marriage is that my boyfriend has a minor infection that I carelessly caught from him. I know, however, that you will welcome him into our family with open arms. He is kind, and although not well educated, he is very ambitious. Although he is of a different race and religion than ours, I know that your often expressed tolerance will not permit you to be bothered by that at all. In conclusion, now that I've brought you up to date, I want to tell you, Mom and Dad, that there was no dormitory fire. I did not have a concussion or a skull fracture. I was not in the hospital. I am not pregnant. I am not infected. And there is no boyfriend in my life. However, I am failing history and science and I wanted you to see this in proper perspective. Now, I'm sure many of you are laughing because that is a pretty funny story. Just imagine how relieved those parents were at the end of that letter. But just think about what their reaction might have been had the daughter just called and said, Mom and Dad, I'm failing science and history. I'm sure they would have gotten upset. They might have gotten angry with her. They might have been really frustrated. They could have had a big family argument. But now, when she told them this other wild story first, they turned out being relieved. And you know, really, when you have a problem in your life, when you have a storm in your life, you can always think like this. Well, I wish this wouldn't have happened, but it could have been a lot worse. I had a situation not too long ago where I was going somewhere and I wanted to get there at a certain time, but it looked like I was going to be just a little bit late. And I was frustrated about it. And lo and behold, when we, as we went down the highway, we noticed a situation where like 45 seconds before we arrived at that spot on the highway, there had been a major, major accident that looked like there was probably some deaths involved. And God used that to cause me to realize that had I left when I wanted to leave, I might have been the one in that accident. But our times are in God's hands. And sometimes he will block you from being able to do exactly what you want to do because even though you don't know it, he's saving you from some kind of future pain. And so let's always have a good attitude and trust God that he's always doing the best thing for us. 